are officially in the Falkland Island. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Wales. I feel like I'm at home. Is that the sheep? Look at the sheep. Oh, look at her. We just recognised her in the airport and come up to her. Mm -hmm. so I've strange. seen her on the Facebook site. Yeah. People know me more here than at home. <laughs> Falkland <laughs> Island's population here is only 3,500. <laughs> 2,500 people that are in like the, the Falkland Island Community Board Facebook group. That's near enough the entire island population. So everybody knows about it, quite literally. Everybody. I mean, I studied history in uh, my GCSEs and the Falklands wasn't mentioned. It, I didn't know where the Falklands was when I first came to meet veterans of the Falklands. You know, they were speaking yeah. about it. I was like, what's the Falklands? Where's that? And, um, you know, we've, I've heard a lot over the last couple of years, obviously, but it's just sad that obviously we don't want, we don't want to kind of drag on the sand the months, but we don't also don't want to forget either if that makes sense yeah um and we know that for a lot of veterans they don't like to speak of it at all you know no, their experiences you don't, no. but then others they find comfort out of talking about it and they're okay with discussing it so everyone kind of deals with it differently and that's what we've learned Proper PA set up in there as well for you, decent lighting. Oh, amazing. We're going to go complete, completely to town on that one. You've got maybe eight and a half thousand miles away from the UK, but we can do things right. <laughs> Friday's venue, that's the Globe. Oh, cool. They did say all, isn't it all here. We've arrived. Home right. sweet home. Yeah.